lovelies and welcome to my channel if you are new here hey my name is onyaka and if you're returning thank you for coming back so guys it has been officially one year since the big move <laughs> so yeah today's the 30th of january 2023 and guys it's crazy like I remember leaving London. I remember the whole drama even trying to leave that day because my sister and I went to get our nails done. My mom's Nigerian. You guys know how it goes um, with the airport situation. She wanted us to be there, you know, through hours early and all of that. And we were cutting it a little bit too close. Um, and I remember her shouting, calling. She was angry. <laughs> but I remember getting to the airport. I remember getting on a plane getting to New Jersey, moving to Michigan, that journey there, even the journey from Michigan down to Texas. And as well, yes, it's been six months since the move to Houston. And honestly, it's crazy. It's been a journey. I am thankful to God because without him, none of this would have been possible. And a lot has happened um, in this one year. I was actually on the phone to my mom and I was like, you know, it's been one year. And she was like, oh yeah, it has. But for her, she has seen us twice in June and in September. So for her, it hasn't been, you know, a whole full year. For my dad, for sure, because we saw him, we went to Nigeria, um, which was January and we haven't seen him like since then so for him it's definitely been a year a friend messaged me um early hours and he was like one he sent me a text he was like one year with the party emoji and I was like definitely has because I haven't seen him since we moved but honestly guys it's been a journey and honestly it's been crazy but I'm thankful that like we didn't give up and move back um but yeah, it's definitely been a whole year. So in this video, as you guys can see from the title, we are doing a get ready with me. So hair, makeup, outfit check. And as well, just to celebrate the one year, I just wanted to do like a solo date night. Um, just going to head out, get some food, some drinks. And just, you know, celebrate it being a year. Nothing too crazy. Plus, I did it in DC. And I was like, I'm definitely going to do it again. Because I really did like the whole solo date night. Yeah, I'm going to head out. But, guys, it's been crazy. Make sure, hey, it's my one year anniversary, guys. Make sure you subscribe. You know, a little congratulations gift for me. <laughs> but, yeah, make sure you subscribe. You like, comment, share, all of it and make sure you're pressing that bell so you don't miss any videos and hey let's get into this look it's been a year guys a whole year that's crazy but let's go all right lovelies so let's get into this look so we're starting off with our lips and i always love using my comics i just feel like it works for me and then we're using the brow fixer and i got this from drugstore so basically you know how people use the bar soap um this is basically like the same it just keeps your brows intact um usually it comes in a clear um format but what i started doing is i leave the lid out and i let it dry out so it comes out white i just feel like it works faster for me um and it doesn't leave my brows looking oily compared to like when it's in that clear format but it's up to you guys how you want to use it if you want to try the product and then i go in with this um i call it a brow pencil but it's not really a pencil <laughs> but you know what i mean um and i just really outline my brows really not too much um i do the bottom and then i do the top with my brows guys like i said in my last video when i was like doing a quick um makeup look i was saying how like my brows are not the same one is higher than the other and it's annoying but anyway so i just go ahead and i just outline it outline the bottom outline the top um i don't really um fill it in too much and then i just brush it out as well i try to leave my brows as natural as possible um just because i don't really want to change the shape um or anything so and then i go ahead using my la pro concealer and honestly am i the only one who still uses i feel like this is one of those um products that's just it's an all-time i like i absolutely love using it um and it just works perfectly for me so i go ahead with toffee using a flat brush and i always do one side and then the other just to make sure that kids as even as possible and then i went ahead with 
this foundation so yeah i go ahead and i put this in the inner corners of my brows so i actually saw this on a uh, tiktok and actually i feel like it's been working well for me because it makes it easier to actually blend and yeah i go ahead with a beauty blender i actually prefer using a beauty blender um than a brush and it's just a preference um but then i go ahead and just blend everything in also um going ahead with the same foundation i put it on the top of my brows because it's the closest to my skin tone and like i said i always make sure i do one side and then the other just to make sure it's as even as possible but because my brows anyways are not the same one's gonna be higher than the other at the end of the day but yeah i just go ahead and i just put some on each end but i don't bring it all the way to the front because i go ahead with the beauty blender and i just blend all of that out i want the inner section to be a little bit more natural if that makes sense um so i just go ahead and just pat that all out and as you can see that's how it looks and then taking it up to my brows as well and then that's all done so moving on to my face i'm using this hydrating face primer from elf so i just wanted to try it on because this is something i had seen on tiktok as well honestly this whole video there's a few products in there that are new and i did want to try them out so i just said hey let's do it for this video and then this is another product i'm using which is the maybelline fit me um and this is 355 coconut and then also using the other foundation that i told you guys about so just starting off with this one so i put it in my highlight areas as much as the two foundations are my skin color one's just a slight lighter which is this one so i use this one first and i put that in certain areas using the same beauty blender i went ahead and you know blended all of that in and this scar on my face guys like it's just it's just so annoying because i always end up burning myself when i use a color this one just ended up being on my cheek i actually have quite a few but you can't see them because they're like a little bit higher on my face but anyways um so i go ahead and blend that in and then i use this one which like i said is just a little bit darker and i use it on the lower area and i go ahead and blend that in as well this foundation is actually really good most of these products i'm going to show you guys drugstore friendly you can get them they're not expensive um so pretty good products that i use and then i go ahead and blend that in onto the contour so this is how i've like been contouring my face and it works well my nose and it works for me so i go ahead and put some on the edges i don't put too much um because then it's a lot more blending you have to do and then i brush them up towards my brows do the bottom of my nose as well this angled brush so at this point i was like hey let's get a little bit you know up close and personal just wanted to show you guys what the line looked like so it's not a lot of blending i have to do like i said i don't use too much of the product so it's not so hard to blend in and then i don't know why i paused that <laughs> i'm not sure why i did that but let's go a little bit closer yeah <laughs> and then i go ahead with the toffee concealer from the la girl pro concealer and then i put that on the outside so i literally just outline my nose once again i don't put too much because the more products you put the more blending is required so just going ahead and outlining that and then using the beauty and blender to just blend it's all in so for the bridge of my nose i use the concealer in the shade warm honey so i just put a little right at the top and then again we're just blending all of that in and i take it up to my forehead um and then as well i'll go ahead with another beauty blender and then i'll just blend that all 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 in going in with the brush again to make sure it's all good so we're using the maybelline fit me concealer and this was in the shade honey so i just go ahead and put a little on the inner corners of my eye um i don't take it all the way down to um any other area i just literally just leave them in the inner corners and then i just blend outwards um side of my nose inner corners and i take them a little bit down not too far down 
um to my lips or anything i just do it in that area um and then into my eyes as well so just blend 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 i take them up onto my eyelids as well just because um i would naturally just put some concealer on there anyways and then i use the darker sponge that i've been using to blend it outwards using the toughy again this is the one i put down um on my top lip area so this area like i said before guys it's area sensitive for me so i don't have to put too much products on this area because yeah it's annoying same as my eyes as well i tried to put as less as possible just because it could water or it could just go wrong for me going ahead to conceal usually i would use this one or the elf concealer um in cocoa but this is the one i just decided to use today and then i just go ahead and blend that in going upwards as well and forehead and making sure it's going upwards into like my hairline but obviously i'm wearing a cap so under the cap and then using this juvie's place palette so i use the brown and the orange um for my cheeks as well because i do like the orange color that it gives mixed with the brown and then that's pretty much that we just blend 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 so i go ahead with the nars bronzer as well and i use that for the same area just taking this upwards to my forehead into my hairline and just a lot of blending pretty much at this point until i'm okay with it so going in with the laura mercier and the sasha buttercup putting the lighter one on the bottom of my eyelids and then as well i put it on top of my eyelids and actually on my brows this technique guys actually is so good because it makes your brows come out looking so so good honestly you lot need to try this um i saw it one day and i was like hey let's give it a go and i've i love it and i love this look um all the time and then as well on my nose some of my eyelids like i said and then using the darker one i basically reverse contour on my nose um pretty much that's all i do and then i put some on my forehead as well moving on to some blush i actually don't remember the name of the blush i've had it for so long um but yeah i go ahead and put some pink because i've already put some orange previously and then makes a nice mix with the brown the pink and the orange and then just on my cheeks i put some a little bit on my nose and let's get into this eyeshadow so i actually like the way this look comes out and it's one of my go-to's i just like to change it up a bit here and there so we're starting off with the morphe james you know the nigerian me was just about to say james brown palette <laughs> if you know who i'm talking about then you know but the james charles palette and it's with the really dark brown on the far right um and then i'm using this mac palette as well and then i just go ahead with the lighter brown and just blend them two together so when i do this look i do it at an angle um so it just goes upwards and i really like the way it just comes up but it's a lot of blending so i go ahead with this juvia's place um remember my last vlog i was saying that i'm gonna try out the palettes every time i do a makeup look so we're starting off with this one and then we're using that orange and putting it on the inner corner um in a circular motion using the gold as well and then putting that in the middle this is basically like a halo look but at an angle then <laughs> pretty much that's the way i can best describe this and you can just change up as you like but pretty much today we're going for this orange kind of look go ahead and use the black for my inner corner so my eyes did water just a little bit so we have that little spot so you can see on the left side but anyways we move with it but go ahead and brush that all off using our urban decay setting spray go on and spray it oh let it all set in and then going ahead with this ysl um mascara i actually do not remember the name i'm sorry but <laughs> go ahead and put that all on i started doing my makeup looks without liners like and i just like how they come out nowadays so i just barely use an eyeliner um but i'm gonna bring it back one day go ahead and highlight the cheeks so i put it right on there and then i just take it up not too much and then on the bridge of my nose as well put a little bit on my forehead and then on my chin as well and then that's pretty much it also i put on the inner corner and that's that's pretty much all i do and that's all done with the highlighting and yeah go ahead and put my nose piercing in i always take them out because i just feel like it makes it just 
a little bit easier um and then i'm putting them back in when i'm done but that's just me and how i function but yeah we're pretty much done with this makeup look and then i'm going ahead and do my eyelashes off camera and yeah lashes are done this is just from ebay it's just uh so i do really like these lashes because they're just not too much and they're just like just right um and then i go ahead and line my lip with some brow pencil and i do just right at the top do a little overline um but pretty much that's it and this is a combination that i use this is my go-to combination um the first one is a brand from a friend and i actually i've been using this for a while and i absolutely love it go ahead with the nyx um and this is in fortune cookie and then i put that right in the middle of my lips and it gives like a little ombre look as you guys can see and then the gloss the gloss <laughs> just goes right at the top and right at the bottom and that is it with the lips so guys these press-ons i Mm, mm, mm. but i'm gonna explain a little bit later my obsession with press-ons but i'm gonna go ahead and put them on just wanted to show you guys up close what they look like these nails are not it let's put these babies on but yeah that's pretty much with the look just gonna show you guys it up close but yeah let's go put hair and everything on and i'll be right back hey lovelies so i have done my hair and i've put my set on let me show you guys these are so good and they're from sheen honestly when i started this whole press on thing it was just that in between stages so like if i get my nails done at the shop so that in between stage before i get them done again if i just want to you know put something cute on yeah i'll just put one of them on and then it just became a thing and as well i've realized when i get my nails done here in america they don't really last i think it's where i've been personally but they don't really last honestly i remember the set i did in october my sister's birthday i think it was just a week in and one was weak already and honestly i can't wait to go back to london and there's this my the nail tech i go to london i'm going straight to him because he's set they look so good and they last so yeah i was just like okay cool let's get some you know press ons and eventually i was just like hey I actually like the machine has some good ones definitely tell you guys to go look at them because they have good good ones honestly and i bought a few no a lot <laughs> a lot i bought so many just i did a bulk like so yeah i have a few to last me um for a very long time so this hair yeah i've had since 2020 i used it for christmas that was the first summer time i wore it but it was just all blonde there was no roots didn't dye the roots or anything and then i just put it away and then i know i wanted to go blonde um today <laughs> but i wasn't sure if i wanted to do this blonde um i have a longer blonde that i've used before and then i bought a new blonde as well so i wasn't really sure which one or what i wanted to do but then i saw this one i was like hey let's add some roots let's change up a little bit curled it just some like loose curls brush them out as well but yeah let's our heels on unless you know be on our way all right then lovely so quick outfit check so this dress is from pretty little thing this bag is from coach it's the tabby bag the small one and then my heels are from sheen my jewelry it's a mixture but yeah <laughs> 